Call him the prophet who profits. 20 years ago, Peter Popoff was a televangelist who just declared bankruptcy after his preaching methods were exposed as a fraud. Now our Inside Edition investigation reveals he's back. And as Matt Mahar reports, his style of living is better than ever. Lord, let this anointing and power flow through our sister now. He claims he's a healer, that the power of God flows through him and can cure whatever ails you. Brand new! He's the televangelist Peter Popoff, appearing on infomercials seen across the country. He claims he can perform miracles. What happened to the pain? It's gone. And Popoff doesn't just heal your body, he says he can heal your wallet, too. I'll never be broke another day in my life. <laughs> Say it again. But I'll this isn't the first time Popoff's been on television. Two decades ago on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, Popoff was exposed as a fraud. And we picked up something interesting. But the expose first, was carried out by this man, well-known skeptic James Randi. Popoff claimed God spoke directly to him, and he seemed to know everything about the people attending his crusades, including their health problems. Burning this arthritis right out of your body. But Randy took a scanner to some of Popoff's crusades and picked up radio transmissions. Turns out, the voice Popoff heard wasn't God's, but his wife's. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. You see, Popoff's wife, Elizabeth, had previously gotten personal information from people in the audience and then fed it to her husband electronically through a tiny earpiece. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Dean, Jody Dean. No, she should be right there on your right side. Okay, she lives at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson, I can see the angels of God all around your house. That's disturbing when you see it. After the scam was exposed, Popoff dropped out of sight and declared bankruptcy in 1987. I'm gonna throw this, Walker. But that was then, and this is now. Woo! Popoff is back and business is better than ever. He operates out of this giant facility east of Los Angeles. According to tax returns, Popoff's ministry took in more than $23 million in 2005. He paid himself more than $600,000. He paid about $600,000 more to his wife and two kids. He drives this $100,000 Porsche, and he lives in this home worth $2.1 million. Where does all the money for this lavish lifestyle come from? Well, people who watch Popoff shows are encouraged to send away for his free miracle spring water. And that's why I want you to have the miracle spring water. But is it really free? Our miracle water came with what Popoff calls a bag of sacred Dead Sea salt. I'm supposed to sprinkle it over a check made out to Popoff for $27. It's really just a tiny package of salt that you would get at a deli or fast food restaurant. As for the miracle water, I'm supposed to drink it, wait five days, and I'll be blessed with riches. Of course, I'm supposed to send Popoff another check. You see, it's not the water that releases the power. It's your obedience to the instructions of the prophet of God. Kathy Rowe and her disabled husband, Donald, fell for Popoff's pitch. Surely God would see our pain and bless us. They borrowed thousands of dollars from relatives, saying they were going to pay their bills, but instead, they sent it to pop off, $4,500 in all. I just look back on it and think, you know, I'm a pretty stupid person. We wanted to ask pop off a few questions. Reverend pop off? Yes. Matt Mahar with Inside Edition. Could I ask you a few questions about no. your ministry? Hey, you're what squeezing you me. Sorry. How can you justify taking all of this money from people that are desperate? Can you just answer us one question? Can you just move away, please? Hey, can you, would you talk to us later, please? No. James Randi says he's not surprised that Popoff is back. Flim flam is his profession. That's what he does best. He's very good at it, and naturally he's going to go back to it. Hallelujah! Kathy Rowe, the lady you met, says she only stopped sending Popoff money two months ago when she had no money left for food. She says she now feels that she was brainwashed by watching Popoff on television.